And of course, live on the big one. We're live on YouTube. We're live on Twitch. We're live on uh, Facebook Live. And we're live on LinkedIn Live. How good is that? And welcome, welcome to the phone in. If you're live on TikTok right there, then you can join us as well. Good evening, Scotty. Good evening. Amazing, Adam. How lovely to have you with us on TikTok and Dinky Doo. Off we go to the telephones. You're live in Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, Scotty. It's Kareem. Ah, oh, Kareem. Well done tonight, sir. You're right on the money. <laughs> what? How are we? How are we? Have you had a nice holiday, Kareem? I don't have a nice break. I did, yes. It's definitely a nip in the air now, mind you. Aha, uh -huh. yes, you're seeing a difference. And did you have a good run back? Because you said the traffic wasn't so good on your way down. The traffic on the way down was really uh, busy. Um, there was roadworks, but when I pulled off to come off, I went down the motorway with your carriage to see it go bright. Uh -huh. And then the queue was queued up from there, Strathclyde Country Park, uh -huh. all the way. So I thought, right, I'll cut through Hamilton. I came off at, uh, is it Lark Hall? Yes, Lark and Hall, and you went over that road. And it still was queued up after when you were leaving there wow. on the motorway. So it was like that down to Les Mahago. Uh, down to the Gow. Les Mahago, Les No, Les Mahago, the Gow, we call it. And then it was fine, but on the way back up, it was okay as well. So, lovely, it just goes by too quick. Yes, it does, it flies in, doesn't it? But it is a lovely part of the world, there's no doubt about that. I did, yes, it was really nice. And I, I went to all the I went to what was it, Haitian Park, um, and there was another three parks. I went to the Nature Reserve, yeah, to well, Bit, Bits there. Park as well. Yes, Bits Park, I love it there. It was just, just really nice. I'm back in two weeks' time, believe it or not, Scotty. Good for you. Good for you, yes, because there'll, there'll be another holiday coming up, I think, is there not? The October week, so I'm going on a Friday straight after work. Good. And this time I'll be back on the Monday. Ah, lovely, lovely. Now, we had a great discussion. What did you think of the morning phone in? I thought it was great, and I think for all the people that missed it, need to get on and listen to it on YouTube. Absolutely, guys. YouTube or Twitch, get yourselves on and listen to the Monday morning phone-in. This morning with Scotty McClue and Kareem actually calls in. It's tremendous. Ah, thank you. There was something that it was for the viewers that don't know it was about, uh, they were talking about drugs. We did. Uh, we touched on drugs and we touched on crime and punishment as a society. Each time we seem to be eating away and eating away and eating away about the concept of punishment. Yes. Well, I, I think what was briefly mentioned earlier on about capital punishment. Now, I do believe in certain cases there should be capital punishment now you're going to get people coming on or writing in scotty uh, in the comment section or oh, what about human rights what about this what if they suffer this 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 and this yeah but and wait now kareem flag. just i'm going to stop you there the concept we need to get across here is that with freedom comes responsibility now if i remember right there are 56 united nations rights for young people something yeah. like that but we need to get across that to claim these rights, your behavior has got to be well nigh impeccable and unimpeachable. A good citizen, basically. Yes, yes, because yeah. they've got that. I mean, you know, in education, if I remember rightly, you've got successful learners, responsible individuals. Yes, uh, sorry. Um, yes, you've got uh, responsible citizens and effective contributors. You see? The, the, the curriculum for excellent before capacities. Con confident that. individuals, successful learners, confident individuals, responsible citizens, and effective contributors. Am I right? Correct. The four Cs. The four Cs, the four capacities for the curriculum for excellence, and that's what all our Scottish children are learning off at the moment. You know, so, so it's, it, I think with these rights, we need to get the concept, yeah, but to have these rights, you need to uh, know how to behave. And here's how we behave. Here's how we implement those rights in relationship to the behavior of the individual. Mm -hmm. Yes, no, I, I agree. Um, but I just think it's too 
politically correct at times. I think there's too much. Well, you see, I think we need to change politically correct to politically incorrect if it is. You know, we need to say, I'm sorry, that is far from politically correct. That is politically incorrect. For instance, at the moment, diversity is a very big thing. Now, you know that um, I put out a TikTok and it was for the LGBTQ community. And I said, would you like to become the LGBTQS community and include straight people? Then you're inclusive. You're actually achieving what you've set out to do. Yeah. You know, and yeah. oh, what a lot of vitriol came back at me. Woo! Mm -hmm. You know, and 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 therefore, that's people thinking they're politically correct when, in actual fact, it's politically incorrect. On here, they'll quite often say, "What are your pronouns?" And I say, nobody needs anything like that on Scotty McClue's live streams because we're all inclusive. So as long as I've got a handle, like for instance, your Kareem, and I'm not interested in your background, your age, your creed, your color, and um, you know your your orientation, I'm not too bothered because I'm talking to Kareem, and that is all inclusive. Yes, that's it, exactly. You know? You're interested in here and now, not what's happening on. I'm not, when I say I'm not interested, I don't mean I'm not interested. I just mean you don't have anything to justify on here, apart from letting me know that that's your handle. And that's why I think the phone-in is going to be very, very successful, because we will accept all comers as human beings. I think, this, I think the phone-in is successful, Scotty. I do think a lot of people listen to it in the background. And if they can't come on at certain times, then they know it will be on. And you do put it out on Facebook, etc., throughout the day. So people will listen to it uh, when they have time as well. So I do think it's, it, it is successful. And it will continue to grow as time goes on. Yes, and if people can't meet us at 9 o'clock sharp Monday to Thursday or 10 o'clock sharp Friday and Saturday, then I strongly, strongly suggest they subscribe, tap the bell on Absolutely. YouTube uh, and uh, follow us on Twitch, Scotty underscore McClue, and yep. get in there and listen to the replays. Yes. Um, but back to your point earlier, Scotty, they are regarding like, capital punishment. I've been shot down many a time for that because I do believe... I think we need to be very careful with it, but I think for some cases we do need capital punishment. But we have to, I, I've been shot down many people about human rights. What if you make a mistake? What about this, 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 and this? Well, what that's you what, if you make a mistake, that's the other extreme. In yes. most cases, they haven't made a mistake. And it is a dreadful thing to have to put somebody to death, no matter how evil they have been in their life, is a very tough thing on the authorities. Uh, you know, if, if, if you asked, I mean, they're probably not around now, but if you asked any prison governors or prison staff, or even when I went to, uh, when I went to work in Lancashire, um, old Albert Pierpoint, the last hangman, had just passed away. I remember reading his obituary. He had a pub well, in Southport and he was excellent at his job. He was a cigar smoker and he would light his cigar. He would um, then go and do the hanging and be back before the ash had fallen. Right. And he was as humane as possible. He'd looked through the little hatch in the door, sized up the person to be hanged, and then he would rush in, pop the bag over their head and say, well, soon have your way, old boy, don't worry. Well, soon of your way, don't worry. You know, very, very strange. I'm not sure if he said don't worry, but it was certainly we'll soon have your way. And oh, it yeah. was, was said in a very calm way, he would then carry out the hanging. And I think they all met in the governor's office for a dram. And Albert Pierpoint, I think, was fined a shilling. Ah. You know, I think he had, I'm not sure what uh, what he was fined the shilling for, if it was manslaughter or whatever. But I think by law they had to do it. Scott, Sorry giving you all that heavy stuff, but I'm just no, letting no, you know no, that it has no, been a reality in our society and may well be again if people can't behave. Well, we'll wait and see. That one, Scott, I think the way things are going, the better. 
a lot of people are against it and a lot of people are for it. But as I keep saying, you've got a lot of people that will come back saying that it's human rights, it goes against their human rights. That even though that if they've done the most despicable and hideous crime, then there will, always, there will be still people that will, will still support Well, I'm sorry, but if they've done a despicable and hideous crime, I quote, then I think they have forfeited their rights to all of their human rights. No, I agree, Scotty. I'm going to leave you a quote here. Yes, this sir. This is from an artist. I won't see the artist and I won't read it all out. Right. But I heard this earlier on and I just thought it really describes society just now, the way things are going. Um, it says, these are the days of the open hand. They will not be the last. Look around now. These are the days of the beggars and the choosers. This is a year of the hungry man whose place is in the past, hand in hand with ignorance and legitimate excuses. The rich declare themselves poor, and most of us are not sure if we have too much, but we'll take our chances, because God stopped keeping score. I guess somewhere along the way, he must have let us all out to play, turned his back, and all God's children crept out the back door. And I just thought, wow. I think that just really describes That it. is big stuff, Kareem, and beautifully read. I thank you, sir. Thank you. Hey, Thank you, Scott. And we'll leave we'll leave it at that and we'll see what the nation thinks. <laughs> Thank you, dear. I'll speak to you tomorrow. Thank you, Kareem. Thank you, dear, sir. Good night to you. There we are. That's our Kareem. Wow, that was heavy stuff. Very interesting. Right, here we go, guys. Hello, all sisters and good evening, Scotty says Ross. Hello, says Gordon Robertson. Dinky do Gordon. Dinky do Scotty says Dave Deprave. Uh, good evening, good sir. Dinky do says D. Dinky do La. Every good evening, Scotty. Dinky do evening, so Scotty. Dinky do. Did you have a proddy? I did, Margaret. Give a fantastic day. We're human beings first and foremost, Scotty. We are billionaires. Yes. Uh, capital punishment is barbaric. It will never come back. Thank God, Dave Deprave. Killing somebody in cold blood is barbaric. Yes, so it may well come back. Many died later to be innocent. Yes, not that many, I don't think. But uh, a good number did when it was being abused maybe 300 years ago. Dinky Doola, good evening, sir. Good evening, Scotty. If you deliberately take someone's life, you've forfeited your human rights. End of says Billy. So there we are. There it is for you. Let's see what everybody is saying on the TikTok. Uh, here we go. This is just amazing. Uh, now then, dinky do. It's a bit wet down here in the east. Absolutely, diversity is amazing, says Liam. Absolutely, Liam. Uh, and th their answer was, Scotty, I bet you got some stick. No end of stick. It's still going on. We had to close the comments. So there you go. Well said, Scotty. Sending love, Wolf, please. Thank you. Why do those wanting to be called something else not accept it when we say we accept everyone? Kulelio, very fair point, very McClue. Scotty is the main man, says Thomas. I thank you, Thomas. I think it'll be the talk of the airwaves, Scotty. Neil, it most certainly is. I can tell you what's happening. Uh, Luca, don't be rude, please. Followers, Stanley says... Uh, you're a wealth of knowledge, Scotty. It's this top of the morning to I agree, Scotty. So there we go. Scotty, you're very interesting to listen to. I ready. You're very, very kind to say that. I thank you, sir. Thank you, Duke. Can everybody share this live? If we're on TikTok, Twitch, LinkedIn, or Facebook live, please get sharing now. If you're on YouTube, follow me. Tap the bell. Set your notifications up. Let me know when Scotty McClure goes live. Hi, Kareem, says D. So you're suggesting a life for a life, an eye for an eye. That's fair enough, says Dave. Good one, Dave. We change of tune there, Dave. Perhaps. Who knows? Right. Can he beat listening to your channel with a glass of Scotch whiskey? Motor, bikes, rock, dinky do. I won't advertise. There we are. Did Kareem say the words were from a George Michael song? I missed it if he did. He didn't say that. No, he said he wouldn't say who it was from. <clears throat> the criminal justices are bad enough. They're not bad, nearly bad enough. We've still got crime in society. If criminal justices were doing their job, we would have virtually zero crime. 
So there you go. Bit wet in St. Helens. Oh, yes, we love it. St. Helens knows how to rain. There we go. Scotty, can you shout out to my pal Ryan? I can, my name. Uh, there's a time and a place when the living envy the dead. Uh, so there we go. Now, Carly Howard, you're obviously a half-wit uh, and very puerile. So at that level, you don't deserve to be on TikTok's top talk show. So we'll send you down the swanee for being an idiot. Bye-bye to Carly. There he goes. Right, there we go. Shout out, my friend. People are panic buying Scotty. So Scotty of the Clan McScotty. Ah, Shan. What I'm going to be doing here, and you'll notice a big, big difference. We're going to do some clan videos for you on TikTok. How lovely is that? Uh, so there we are. I've just shared. Thank you, Billy. Everybody share. If you're on TikTok, get tapping your screens. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, Scotty. Hello, who's that? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Dear, oh dear, you can't come on here and describe yourself like that, standing looking in the mirror, describing yourself like that. How rude. There we are. He had to go for being a half-wit. There we go. It's a song. Uh, so there we go. Cuddly's gone. Scotty, I've started training to become a fireman. Wish me luck. Addy the Betty, you will be an outstanding firefighter. I thank you for your commitment and your public service. Lovely to have everybody with us. Please can we get sharing and sharing and sharing. Very important. Now, if you're a total halfwit like that last person, don't bother phoning. You're wasting your time. Not changing my tune, says Dave Deprave. You just didn't clarify the crime to justify the execution. I agree. We're talking about taking someone's life in cold blood for no reason. Ha ha, says D. Dinky do. Uh, what brand of flat cap this is a beauty. This is a Hogs of Fife. Absolutely gorgeous. Hopefully you'll get some intelligent colors. All our colors are intelligent, apart from that one last half-wit who was standing in front of a mirror describing as himself as uh, overweight. How shocking is that? Dear, oh dear, Scotty, you can get a shout out to my brother who turned 18 today. Glasgow Food, I think I'll just dump you because you don't have a brother called that. And you were hoping I might say it. Now, that's very, very, very puerile. I could either leave you up and see if you'll become a responsible citizen or I could just send you down the swanee. I'll leave the people to decide. Guys, Glasgow Food won. Do we send him doing the swanee or do we leave him in the hope he might grow up? Tell us what you think. Have a look at that. This is TikTok we're talking. I wish I had this dude's accent instead of my deep southern accent. I can tell you something. That red neck. Never, ever, ever wish you didn't speak with a beautiful deep southern accent. We love it. Uh, now, who we got here? Doing the swanee with the trolls and the keyboard warriors. All the best to Patty. <laughs> I read at the beginning a song which has a lot of meaning, and we can all sit, think, and reflect to it. Kareem, excellent, wonderful stuff. Uh, to the TikToks, get tap, 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 tap. We've got 2,000 likes. We need every single TikToker with a TikTok account to be following Scotty McClue. Go up to the top left of TikTok, tap the plus sign, and follow us. Doing the Swanee, says Beachy Beachy. I love the way Scotty deals with the trolls. Swanee, zero tolerance for trolls. Right, so let's go back and get rid of this one then. Here we go, guys. So it's Glasgow Food 1. Dun the Swanee. Woo! There you go. And there it goes. End of Glasgow Food 1 for trolling. Wonderful. It's a shame because they're used to going on and trolling people's lives, you know, because they don't feel mature enough to handle a proper TikTok live stream. Down the swanee, M-A-G-A says, Louise, make America great again. Do all the TikTokers in America want to see the Donald come back? Tell us what you think. Yay, bye-bye. He's gone deep in the swanee. Glasgow Food Zero, Scotty McClure, 
one. Absolutely. Hello. Hello, McNorlam. Nice to have you with us. Yes, says Louisa. Thank you, dear Scotty McClure. Great to see you, says Lachmer. Lachmer, always a joy, a privilege, and an honor to have you live on Scotty McClure's phone in. Thank you, dear, I say. Let him grow up and be a sensible human being instead of a neddy. Yes, a neddy. I find people just mute people who don't agree with them and call them trolls. Well, we would never, ever, ever, ever do that, Lloyd Hollywood. So you will not find that on here. Yes, all we get, I mean, the only reason he was a troll is because he was just being puerile. And he trolls every live like that, I would imagine. And with Scotty McClure on TikTok, you never, ever scroll once you found me, and you never, ever troll. Or you miss a moment of McClure. You miss a moment of McClure. You miss a moment of life. Not good for you, I say. Uh, now, who else have we got here? Scotty, is your car full of fuel? Well, I think we've got enough to get through the week. So there, we'll just go canny with the accelerator. Come and join us as soon as you possibly can. Dinky do, I say to you. There we go. Hola, the positive vibes flowing from South Africa, from Cape Town. We love having you on from Cape Town. Dinky do. Welcome to the TikTokers. Get following Scotty McClure. Why should they ruin these highly respected live streams? Because they're idiots, Chris. They don't have your brain and your ability. They have a very, very, very low IQ. And they're used to going on lives and going, I saw you crying in the supermarket. Are you my da? Uh, what else do they do? Um, what's your pronouns? Things like that, you know, because they don't know how to handle a proper live stream and have a discussion like an adult. Handsome chap you are, I thank you, make America great by getting themselves a universal health care system. Would you like to not pay for health care in America, the same as we do in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland? Would that be a step forward that you just, <coughs> American health care becomes free? Yes, precisely that, says Chris Dinky, do everybody. Right, who else have we got here? Love you, Scotty. Bring back the president of the world. Sorry, love you, Scotty. This is Elise, who we think is in the north of England. Yes, bring back the president of the world. Back Donald Trump. He is the only true world leader. Wow. Make America great again. Amazing. Thank you, Elise. Do you play golf, sir? I was going to say I've never, ever, ever held a club, but I realized, as I said it last night, that's not true. I once drove off with my uncle's number one wood, but that's it, you know, so there, so I don't, no, no, free health care for all, please, from Florida, fat spoon with a PH, we thank you, how amazing is that? If you've just joined us, guys, on the phone in, then you're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet, hashtag float high. We are one week old. We're discussing punishment for murderers. Do we bring back the death penalty in the UK? And how do we actually get people behaving themselves? We thought about lifetime imprisonment for all druggies. So there you are. Tell us what you think about that. Billy says we need Donald back. A-S-A-P. So there we are. Amazing. So that's Elise and Billy are saying, yes, get Donald back. Wonderful. Taxpayers pay for health care as in Canada, Scotty. Right, JD. Interesting, says Motorbikes Rock. Hello, Scotty, says Selena. Hello, Selena. Dinky do, my main legend. How have you been, says Skid? Skid, we are outstanding. Can everybody get tapping on TikTok? Can everybody get sharing on Twitch, on YouTube, on Facebook Live, on LinkedIn Live? Now, we're only four weeks old with the phone in, and I think it's pretty amazing. If you'd like to call in, do feel free to do. Uh, so there we go. David says we can't get calling. It's not accepting the calls. Let me sort that for you, David. See what's going on here. There we go. Right.
Try it now, David. See if you can get through now. That would just be incredible. There we go. Give us a call. We need Donald back. Wonderful. Now, does everybody watching want Donald Trump to come back? This is amazing. The petrol shortages. Go on, drive with humanity. Donald Trump only helped his family and friends. I don't think that's true, baloney buddy. I think you've been sucked into the mainstream media. Yeah, there we are. Healthcare is never free. Well, JD, it's not free. We pay for out of our tax and health insurance. But in the United Kingdom, if you take ill, nobody goes. Are you insured? Who's going to pay for this? So there we go. So we need to find out about that. Try us again. David, give us a call and see if it's working. <clears throat> That's what to do. The Skype should be working, I say to you. So feel free to give us a call. I don't think there's a problem with it. Right, that's fine, yeah, I think that's all right. Okay. Wonderful, good, that seems to be okay. There you are, David, it should be okay if somebody wants to give us a call. Uh, now, who have we got here? Bring back Thatcher. I don't know that that goes down quite so well as bring back Donald Trump. Anyway, we can't do it because she's no longer with us. Have you been to a shoot before? I've been to many, many shoots. I am a crack shot, but I don't shoot because I would only do it if I was doing it for the pot. There we go. Who have we got? Laughed at the comments, seeing how intelligent viewers are. Uh, queue up spaghetti hoops or beans. <laughs> no, but clearly, are there talking about people like yourself who are very intelligent? Absolutely no to the death penalty. Any reason? <clears throat> Death penalty for gender-based violence, says Fregri. How long has the UK been without the death penalty? I think the last hanging. The last hanging, I was going to say, was it 64? I know that Hindley and Brady managed to just avoid being hanged. There we are. Uh, I just managed to get fuel. How lucky am I, says John. Absolutely. Is it petrol or diesel, John? Do tell us. So there we are. So I think it actually abolished it in 1965. But I'm trying to think when the last actual hanging was. Honestly, wish I was related to you because you make my day skid. What a lovely thing to say. The life sentence does not serve a purpose. The death penalty is a kindness to the criminal. Yes, because criminals are very tortured people. Cheerio from the house of Carrington Dinky Doo Lloyd. I have mixed thoughts on Donald Trump. Well, come on, motorbikes. Tell us more about 1964, Scotty. Ah, thank you very much for that. There we are. Neely Davy Cooper McCallum, 1964. Dave Deprave, 1964. Petrol, Scotty, unleaded. Well done, John. Is the new petrol in yet? That they, they're, they're hoping to get the old cars off the road with. Healthcare paid by taxpayers is very hard to access. I know from experience. I don't know, JD. You just go to E and E. It's not working, Scotty. All right. The phones aren't working, guys, for some reason tonight. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to see if we can do something about it. Right, David. Try it now, La. Let's see if we can get you on. Okay. Right, that should be working, guys. Yep, there shouldn't be a problem. Try it now, David, and let me know if you can uh, if you can get it working. If it's ringing out, can everybody ring the number? Just let me know if it's working, guys. Just checking here. Ah, there we are. Your live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Beachy Beachy. Beachy Beachy. How are you tonight? Not bad yourself. I great. Excellent program tonight. Hi, it's brilliant. I love the show. Never a dull moment. Absolutely. I was just checking your phones were working. Yep, that's very very kind of Beachy Beachy, and thank you so much for that. We seem to be back in business. That's good. Well. I'll not hold you 
phones go. Dinky, dinky, la. Thank you very much indeed. There we are. That's Ichi Beachy, guys, just telling us the phones are working. Now, my car's well old, so there we are. It's a Mini from 2005. I'm using it until it dies of death. Right. I think everybody dies of death. Ruth Ellis was the last woman to be executed in 1955. Yeah, but Dave Depraved, there was people after that. I'm, I'm just trying to think. Scotland, Peter Manuel. There we are. Uh, 13th of August, 1964, Peter Anthony Allen. I just looked it up. That was very kind of you. You're live in Scottish Funny, and who's that? Oh, it's, I'm put last. It's a big, big problem, Scottish, you know? A big problem, but it seems to have become a wee non problem now. That's good, son. How are you okay? Better for hearing you. We like good making son, big I... problems go small. I'll have to stay on because the phones were a bit iffy. Yes, they are. <laughs> How are you enjoying the show, David? Are you liking it? Amazing, Scotty. You know what I like? I just like to hear you. I mean, I like to hear all the comments, you know, uh, all the people have different opinions, just the usual. We tried, we tried a morning phone in and it was a huge success this morning. I really, I, I the morning. <laughs> you sleep in the morning? Oh, well, you'll not be wanting that, but it was amazing. It was just very interesting to try it. How long were you on the morning? About an hour or something? I was on this morning, yes, for I think about 58 minutes. Right, I see. So that's, 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 was that every morning then? Yeah. No, no, no. It was just, uh, we just tried it this morning. So, so there right. we go. Okay, I see. That's not bad, you know. I was just, uh, I'm talking about the, the, the man who hanged people years ago. Quite, I find it. Al Albert Pierpoint, yeah, he was a remarkable guy. He had a pub in Southport, and uh, apparently there was a wee sign that said "No hanging around the bar." There you go, that's, and that's strange, isn't it? So there's a sort of dark humour in it. You know what I mean? Uh, very and dark and when I read, I read his obituary, David, and it was a really nice obituary, and it said. People will remember Albert as the last hangman. I remember him as great company, great company and a beer drinker. I mean, that man always has done his job, right? He was yeah. home at bedtime and he's just trying to um, just be normal. That, that. But obviously he had to do what he had to do. And although he had to put people to death, apparently they never suffered. No, I understand that. As you were saying, he stated maybe to someone, I'll always take a minute. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, old fella. We'll soon have you away. I can imagine they did say something like that and, and these people's here. Well, that's, that's true. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's really strange. Again, so what we're talking about. You know, it's funny know, that though yeah. we have, there is a dark humour about these things. And it yeah, creeps yeah. I can remember somebody telling me a story. He says, uh, my granddad died. He said he knew uh, the exact time he was going to die because the judge told him. That's you know, and, and he says he got the electric chair and the guy uh, said, have you any way. last requests? He says, I hold my hand. Oh, that's crazy, you know. <laughs> that, that, okay, look at America. They've got a death sentence. Yes. Bring it back. Yes. Like, when, I say, when I say bring it back, make sure it's only for evil, evil people, right? Yes. Well, they've got guys on death row in America, and it must be very difficult if you actually haven't necessarily done what they said you've done. But it's always <laughs> strange. Death row can in America. They send you to death row. It takes years before you get executed. That is silly as well. Yes, that's ridiculous. I mean, what they should do, if somebody kills somebody in this country, then they oh. know it's going to be instant death. Say, right, straight away, I would say, right, take them down, and, and, and I wouldn't put them on a, a section of, wait, wait till the, your day comes, do it, do it. No, I now. think they should say something like, now it's Thursday afternoon, so uh, can he be away yeah. by Tuesday morning? Ah, that's right, instead of waiting till down the line. Aye, that is, that's right. stupid. Yes, I think we need to look at that as well, Davey, good point. And you too, thank you very much and dinky do. Right, bye. Bye bye, Lala. There we are, that's her, Davy, and away he goes. How amazing. 
Scott, did you still make the McClue's pies? Dave, McClue's pies, the finest bakers in the world. The vegetarian lattice slice and a rich chicken sauce. You can't beat it. Healthcare paid by the taxpayers. Yes. Scott is the man. Dinky do. Raz boom. I enjoy hassle free health. Off we go to the telephones. You're live on Scottish phone in. Who's that? Hello there. How are you? How are you doing? Who's that? Oh, this is Collie Collie. Collie Collie. There we are. Thank you, Collie Collie. There we are. What a folly, I would say. There's always a dafty, isn't there? They, they can't come on and just have a normal conversation. So he goes, I wonder if he goes around his house, going to his wife, hello, it's Collie Collie. There we go. I enjoy that. Thank you. I honestly wish I was related to you. Thank you, schedule. Very kind. Long live the Queen. Uh, Rained af the chat is the day, back the morrow, able for uh, whatever, a cat. I used to believe death penalty, but miscarriages of justice are too common. One wrong death, one too many. I know, Canelio, but look at all the right ones. You think, well, the world is better without evil. Good must always triumph over evil, I say. You're live with Scottish phone, and who's that? I said hello. I don't know who that is right. There we are. Uh, kill them by the same method that they killed. Well, every, that's a bit complicated because some of the methods that people used to kill people are pretty horrendous, uh, you know, and I think it would be too much for a, a, a human being to have to do that to someone else. Hello from Helensbron, Scotland. Thank you. Why was the death penalty outlawed in the UK? Good question. So there we are. I walk with nature and ask the question. Guys, who on here can answer that? Why was the death penalty outlawed in the UK? <clears throat> now, hello, Dinky Do. Hello, lovely to have you with us. Thank you, Linda. Torture the serial killers. Yes, indeed. Kill them. Yes, indeed. What would your instrument of death be? Well, Dave, I suppose the... Um, you know, a drug really would be the best one. You know, just just a very, very high dose of a very, very powerful anesthetic. And they just they just go, they just fade. If someone takes someone else's life, aka a murder, I say the death penalty, doing the swanny with them. Right, right, beachy, beachy. Ebri says yes. Hello from Paisley, says Linda. Hello, Linda. Lovely to have you with us from Paisley. Uh, toss them in the set. All oh, right, Louise, we're not going to all that. Uh, thank you. Uh, hello from Edinburgh. Hello, Dom Cato. How lovely to have you with us from Edinburgh. If you've just joined us, guys, you're watching Scotty McClue. Now, can I have half a dozen of you go to my Twitch account, Scotty underscore McClue. Follow me and watch the show on Twitch. Right, I need you to do this because it would help us for affiliation purposes. So if all of you can think, right, let's look up the guy's Twitch account, Scotty underscore McClue, and just watch it for about 20 minutes or something like that. What's a Twitch account? Pam, Twitch is a massive, massive internet TV company. And Scotty McClue is broadcasting, live streaming right now on Twitch at Scotty underscore McClure. So all this will come out in the wash. We're also on YouTube. If you're on YouTube, subscribe and tap the little bell symbol because then you'll get your notifications when the phone in goes live. Get to the telephones, guys. I'm too old for Twitch. Mark McClure, are you older than McClure? There we are. I on, on Twitch. John, I have Twitch. Excellent, John. Can you follow Scotty McClure? Scotty underscore McClue. And can you watch it for a wee while on Twitch? That would be wonderful. Hell from Paisley Boy, now living, you know where, Neil O'Garley. Hell, I think you mean hello. Uh, good, good, Scotty. Good evening. Good evening, Ronnie. And it was regarded as inhumane. So Dave Deprave says we got rid of the death penalty because it was regarded as inhumane. Well, I would regard 
some of our dangerous criminals who are killers as inhumane, right? That's it. They are out with humanity. They don't have Twitch in the States, says Pam. I don't know about that, Pam. Have a look. I think Twitch is international. There we are. Imagine a father, brother, mother being executed for nothing. Hard to take even if they get most of them right. Yeah, but Corellio, you know, I mean, most of them are right. And it's unlikely there would be a death penalty if it was wrong in today's age. Because remember, any mistakes in the past, they didn't have DNA. They were, hello, says Neil. Scotty, what should a modern Scottish society expect with crime, health, and education? Right, this is for the people of Scotland. All right, the people of Scotland here, what should you expect for a modern society in terms of crime, health, and education? Do tell us, very important. Guys, get sharing this phone in right now across the internet. We're on Facebook. If you're watching on Facebook, share it, right? If you're watching on Twitch, share it. Follow me. Watch it. Watch it. Absolutely. Mr. Goatface, thank you for my beautiful TikToks. So there we go. And what do you think of the kids these days and geek bars? Well, Linda, I don't think we've ever had much chance to hang about geek bars because of the pandemic. One that doesn't jail journalists. Good one, Ty Talk. Excellent. A society that doesn't jail journalists. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, it's me, myself, and Ty Ah, Why Professor Numpty Heat, how are you, the Nick? Absolutely wonderful. Makes a change, like Bob. Are you enjoying it? Absolutely. And it puts something to for change. Is this your kind of phone in, Numpty Heat? Aye, the night times, this morning stuff's too early in the morning. Was it a wee bit sharp for you this morning, but it's still worth trying. Well, keep it up, I might catch you one or twice a week. But not to heed, what we need to do, we need to get these figures up. We need to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. We need to be sharing and sharing during the show. So everybody Scott, needs to be a participant. Scotty, if I had 10 hours, I would be telling them to tell 10 to tell 10 and all that stuff. Fantastic. Tell uh, 10 to tell 10. Num no, listen, Num to heed. Nobody's uh, done more good than you for the phone in. Oh, I can. Ken, absolutely. And you were so funny about it. Because I was just joking. And I was going, see, you bet me I couldn't start a phone in. You go, no, no, no. Santa's on his way. <laughs> and boy, was he on his way. Donner and Blitzen. Anyway, now, I've got a couple of points, Scotty. Yes, go on. Now, first of all, see, with Hangman's job, a, a full time Monday, Friday, 9 till 5. What, the Hangman? Hi. No, because well, remember, it, it was thing. very, very public if somebody was being hanged. So he was actually, he, he was a, a, a pub landlord. Right, so he wasn't very busy. Well, you wouldn't be, because how many people would you be putting to death in a week in the 1950s and 60s? Well, if it's a job, you'd want, you'd want 39 a week, wouldn't you? Well, it just it just depends. I mean, he was maybe he was on call. I don't know the details of Albert Pierpoint's contract, because I'm not uh, in the habit of going around checking hangmen's contracts. And another thing about the hangman, Scotty, was it right that he got pardoned by the Queen after every hand? Well, he got pardoned, yes, but I think they fined him a shilling, and it may have been for manslaughter. I would need to check that, but he certainly uh, got fined, and it would be the Queen's shilling, and then he uh, would be pardoned. I understand. Now, I've got one final point, and, and it's, it's to do with hanging, Scott, I believe it or not. Right, right. Uh, well, don't hang about. Right. We don't need the death penalty. All you need to do is just stop their money, their gyros, because it's all the unemployed that are the criminals. Well, is it really? I mean, there's some quite wealthy drug people out there that probably don't have to sign on. Well, Scotty, the, the drug carry on, um, the, the, they're sort of uh, decriminalising it. You just get a warning if you're caught with the, the class A's now. I mean, unless we go down a different road altogether, take all the drugs off the crims 
and say, right. no, 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 you can get your drugs in a shop the same as fags or booze. I see what you're saying, Scott. You see, so you go, in, you go into a shop, you go, eh, could I get 10 spliffs, please? Could I get 10 herbal cigarettes? And they go, yeah, that'll be a four pound, please. And you go, oh, thanks very much. I'm off of that. That's a cracking idea, Scotty. It depends what drugs says, Linda. So there you go. <laughs> Everybody's into this. We just happened to talk about this this morning. Everybody's uh, right into it now. Uh, I think me and Linda are on the same hymn sheet. Yes, it depends what drugs. So there you go. But I mean, if you got that, if they took away, because cocaine is very, very addictive and very, very dangerous, a class A drug. But if you said, the only thing is you need to be careful it didn't fall into the hands of a wee one because it could mean certain death. Ah, oh, uh, you know, Scotty. You know, but say you could get into a shop and you could say, excuse me, um, could I get just a tiny wee bag? And they say, yes, that'll be £4.80, please. Absolutely, but you can they'll that. They'll get that. And maybe you could have coupons like they had during the war. You could have drug coupons if you wanted right. to get drugs reasonably priced. <laughs> Away you go, numpty heat. I've never heard so much nonsense in all my life. A catalogue. So here we go. Right, guys, let's get down here and see what you're all saying. Agreed, Scotty Zazebri, the whole UK criminal justice system needs an overhaul, says so far. There are too many lenient sentences. D says hanging, however, remained available until the 30th of September 1998, when under a House of Lords amendment to the Crime and Disorder Act 1998, proposed by Lord Archer of Sandwell, the death penalty was... And I don't know what the next bit is. I would imagine it's abolished. Lenient sentences, says to Dave Depraved to Rapist and Peters. No, absolutely not. Abolish for treason and piracy with violence, replacing it with a discretionary. Ah, this is the second bit, D. Excellent. When it was abolished for treason and piracy with violence, replacing it with a discretionary maximum sentence of life imprisonment. Well, no, I think we need a discretionary death penalty. There we are. You have to make an example to these people. It's a good idea. You'll take a, a lot of crime away as well. Thank you, Frank, down in Australia. Uh, public hangings are twisted. Hung victims used to have... Oh, my goodness, we'll not do that, Dave Deprave. This is a family show. Uh, right, off the street, get them off the street, on leakers. Yes, indeed. Right, Dave Deprave. I think that's enough of the very, very dark things. Hello from Guernsey, George. We love you in Guernsey and a big dinky do. Welcome, welcome, I say. There we are. Lord Ha Ha was hung for treason. Now, Kalelio, a lot of people might not know who Lord Ha Ha was, an Irishman called William Joyce, who used to do uh, propaganda for Germany during the war and broadcast every night on the radio from Radio Luxembourg. Now, should Lord Haw -Ha have been hanged, right? Or was that a mistake? Do tell us what you think. Right, so there we are. Sounds it says D, absolutely D. Uh, so there we go. One of the last guys they hanged was innocent and had mental issues. So, J. Don Nelly, I'm just wondering if you think you're the same one as I am. I think of myself as a lord. Good one, Linda. Lord Linda. That's what we like. Dinky do, it's Pablo. Thank you, Stallion Fishkeeping uh, forward slash gardening. There we are. Lovely to have you with us. If you've just joined us, folks, you're watching Scotty McClue's phone in. We're live across the internet, but only on four platforms. We're on, sorry, five. We're on Twitch, we're on LinkedIn, we're on Facebook, and we are on YouTube, and we are on TikTok. I'm just going to get this call. You're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Ah, uh, David, no, no, you can use your both calls, David. That's absolutely no problem. Thank you. Are you, are you enjoying this? 
Scott, he absolutely incredible, seriously. Now, I've got a story for you, but I'll, I'll not get into too much detail. A, a guy just texted us to get the uh, state and someone was uh, high during mental health mental issues. Yes. So my opinion is, there was a woman in America years ago who was brutally raped with many, many men. And they also made a movie out of it. Right. People know, people know what I'm saying. Yes. And anyway, it took years to get her to the death sentence. And they also done a documentary on this lady. I don't mention her name. People know what I'm saying. Now, she was mentally insane. She should not be put to death, got it. Right, well, yes, I can see where you're coming from. That's another side to it, because have you ever seen Shutter Island? No, not at all. Not at all. Right, Leonardo DiCaprio, Shutter Island. It's a psychological thriller, and, okay. and it's interesting. And the governor of the prison says you can't beat the psychosis out of someone. So you know if somebody does something really bad because they're psychotic and you think they just need a good leathering, you can't, it won't make any difference to them, apparently. I mean, other people know more about this than me. I am just going on what was said. Ah, uh, of course. I mean, there's certain reason people do things, right? I mean, so obviously she was sent she was sent to death. You're still in America. And I, well, I, I think you probably know what I'm talking about. People will know this lady. And they made a film out of it. They actually made a film. That's how sick they are. They made money out of it. Oh, my goodness me. Don't tell me anymore. No, I can't. I know I can't, Scotty. You're amazing. I, I watched the film and I watched the documentary with a certain person who's done a documentary a way back or oh, 10 years ago. And I've seen before she was taken to death, the way she was speaking to the, the documentary makers, it was a shame, shocking. But then she announced, I meant to, I meant to kill these men. She turned vigilante. Oh. These men raped her for years. Oh, God almighty. Right. Right. I'm, I, I, I see where you're coming from. Aye. Right. Right. I'll go. Let it go. I, I did. Dinky do. <laughs> right. Right. Bye, Scotty. Why, oh, heavy, heavy stuff tonight, guys. Heavy duty, but there we are. Scotty, do you think I sound crazy, says Linda? No, Linda, I don't think anybody on here sounds crazy. Anybody that sounds crazy, we just send them down the swanee. Lovely to have you with us, and thank you to Border Terriers. Lovely to have you with us. And uh, good evening. Ruth Ellis was the last woman hung. Uh, should be let off for a crime of passion. You don't know that, Galileo. You don't know that, you see. It could be something different, but she wouldn't be hanged. Uh, now, what have we got here? Uh, right, Dave Deprave, can you not do that, please? I don't want to have to block you. Pulling a pint's like pulling the lever for the drop. Do you think we all need to know that, says Ebri? No, we certainly don't, eat, Eb. You're live with Scotty's funny news, that? Hi, Scotty. It's Kareem again. Use my second call. Ah, excellent, Kareem. And you are well within your rights to be using your second call. Thank you. I was just to continue what we discussed earlier on today in the morning show, because I know a lot of people are getting quite heated. Uh, and it was regarding when we were speaking about junkies. Yes. And the terminology now uh, is that you're not allowed to call them junkies or drug addicts. It's unjustifiably intoxication or justifiably in talk. Now, Kareem, who has said this? I mean, don't mention any official body, but I mean, when you say you're not allowed, who is telling you or me or anyone else that they're that not was, allowed? That was the police saying that to one of my friends. Right, so this is the latest thing that's coming in. So the woke brigade are now starting to get into the police. Well, true. You know, but this is what I... I I was thinking about Scotty that it's as if you don't want to offend a drug addict or a junkie. Oh no, no, a drug addict. If somebody's if somebody's taking drugs, they're yes. breaking the law. If they're right. breaking the law, then those who enforce the law need to ensure they are punished. And you're never going to punish anybody by saying, "Well, be very careful what you say about that junkie or that drunk or that alcoholic or whatever." 
right? You've got to say, no, I'm sorry. We're dealing with uh, somebody who's filled with junk. They are junked up. And uh, that's what we're dealing with. You know, they, they are, we can by any, by all means use, they are, uh, you know, unjustifiably intoxicated. You know, you can do any of these things, but that's what's going on. And, you know, no human being should ever be punished for saying in a 999 call, you know, hi, we're getting robbed by these junkies. Yes. Well, if you look at it, Scotty, it's about when you have a, a problem, you have to face that problem. When someone has a drink problem, they're an alcoholic. Do we yes. tiptoe around that now and not call them an alcoholic? Well, you see, if you do alcohol. that, Kareem, what you're doing is saying, there, there, we understand, although you've done a lot of things wrong, and although you've done something very bad as a result of, uh, you know, being off your face or out your head or whatever, um, you know, we're, 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 we're going to give you, you know, a much easier ride because we understand that you were off your uh -huh. face. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. it's, it's it, you know, I mean, there's that in the criminal justice system anyway. I mean, I've no doubt the defense solicitor would say, you know, I'm sorry, my lord, but my client was uh, justifiably or unjustifiably intoxicated at the time. Yes, I get that. Thank you very much, Mr. McQuackle. Yes, yes. Well, I'll be sticking to drug addict, and that will be it. Because I think if we tiptoe around what what it really is, then you know, we're just there shouldn't be it's... any tiptoeing around at all. You go in with the boots. The heaviest boots possible, and the police should have that mandate. Mm -hmm. Well, this is why we need Sir Percy Sillito back. Yes. Well, as I said, it's as if you, you're, you're tiptoeing around that you don't want to offend. But I'm sorry, when someone is an alcoholic, they have to stand in the mirror, they need to look at themselves, and they need to make a positive change. And they have to accept, yes, I am an alcoholic. What are you going to do? Are you going to tiptoe around and call someone not a rapist anymore or someone who's a child molester or a paedophile? You can't call them by those terminologies because it might offend. Mm -hmm. And then are we going to start to say about serious crimes like that? Well, yes, so we understand, you know, we're going to give you a lighter sentence because you were off your face. I just thought it becomes that, ridiculous. Sure I'm sorry, but the people that the, the ordinary public should not be tiptoeing anywhere, and neither yeah. should the police get a mandate yeah. to get in there. Sir Percy said to his officers, You will not be prosecuted for, uh, you know, um, whatever it would be at the time for giving yeah. somebody a leathering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I just think there'll be no doubt some of your the callers just now or people writing or some interesting comments regarding that. Um, at the end of the day, I'll, I, I'm not there to offend, but I'm not going to tiptoe around. A drug addict is a drug addict at the end of the day. An alcoholic is an alcoholic at the end of the day. Uh, and that's it. Kareem, <laughs> you're absolutely spot on. I'm going to bid you a good night, sir. Good night. Thank you. Do speak to you tomorrow. Thank you. Do Bye. speak to you tomorrow. Thanks, Kareem. Excellent stuff. That's our Kareem. So there we go. Do you believe in vigilantism, Scotty? No, I don't, Colerio. That's why we have drug enforcement officers. And they need to have a mandate to do their job. Unfortunately, we don't have freedom of speech, the Scottish TikToker. No, but we'll do our best to tiptoe round it on here. Uh, I'll have to say good night to the TikTokers. Thank you for joining us. Good night, God bless, and dinky do. So there's our TikTokers away. That's it. Thank you. Good night, TikTokers. Wonderful stuff. Right, to the telephones as quickly as possible. I just missed that call there. Very, very busy tonight and great to talk to our TikTokers. How amazing were they? Now then, uh, what have we got here? Yes, got all that. Dave Deprave, you need to watch your language on here or uh, I'll have to actually just, I'm afraid, stop you from commenting. So there we go. We don't want all that. People, it's all very well discussing things, but we don't need gore. So there we go. We do not need gore. And I don't want to ban you, Dave, because you've been on here for a long time. So there we are. Uh, Dave goes on about consuming free mushrooms. 
Why should I work hard to buy nice stuff for a junkie to break in and steal it to fill their veins, says Eb. Eb, that's a very, very good comment. Well done, sir. Guys, we're out of time. I'm going to have to go. Good night. God bless. Dinky do. And as we say in the best of circles, ta-ra-las. <laughs>